Hunter Biden asked DOJ to open criminal investigation into Trump allies who ac accessed his laptop. Um, I'm back from YouTube, uh, YouTube jail. I can't really talk about why they gave me that community strike. Um, if you want to find out, check me out on Twitter or sign up for my Patreon where I say why they put me in YouTube jail. Um, um, and I missed out on a bunch of important news, but I'm back now. So um, let's talk about this news here. But um, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts. So check those out as well. All right. Let's talk about this news. Hunter Biden has begun an aggressive counterattack against his accusers by asking the Department of Justice to open an investigation, uh, a criminal investigation into Trump allies who he claims illegally accessed the um, computer he abandoned and left at a Delaware repair shop, according to uh, PJ Media. Um, Biden... Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. Oops, sorry about that. My uh, Alexa woke because I used the computer word. Um, let me unplug that so it doesn't happen again because I'm going to be referring uh, to computer quite a bit. So let me go ahead and unplug Alexa. Computer is my wake word for Alexa. But, um, Biden lawyers uh, are also suing Fox News host Tucker Carlson for making, quote, false and defamatory claims that Biden's son had access to classified documents stored at his father's home. I'm going to stop right here for a minute and point out that he technically did have access to it. The documents was in the garage. Uh, um, and he had access to that garage, which means he had access to the classified documents. Where is the lie in that? Where is the lie? The, a judge would not would not uh, would throw that out. Any reasonable judge, I should say, would throw that out because he he definitely had access to the classified documents. He lived in the same house where the documents was kept. This salvo from Hunter Biden represents a new White House strategy that will play out during all the investigations into the president, his son, and Democrats as Republicans ramp up a long list of investigations now that they have control of the House. According uh, uh, to the Associated Press, the request for a, a criminal inquiry, which comes as Biden faces his own tax evasion investigation by the Justice Department, does not mean federal prosecutors will open a probe or take any other action. But it, um, it nonetheless represents a concerted shift in strategy and a rare public response by the younger Biden and his legal team to the years of attacks by Republican officials and conservative media scrutiny expected to continue now that the GOP has taken over the house scrutiny i mean look at the blatant stuff look at all the stuff that was on his laptop it also represents that goes on to say uh, the latest salvo in the long-running laptop saga which began with the new york post story in october 2020 that details some of the emails it says were found on the device related to hunter biden's foreign business dealings it was swiftly seized on by trump as a campaign issue during the presidential election that year. It kind of seems like uh, the Associated Press is kind of caping for uh, uh, Hunter Biden, which makes absolutely no sense. He's a despicable, despicable individual. He don't even want his own child to have his last name, which I think is ridiculous, um, which goes to show how powerful that Biden last name really is and how he used it to money launder, to get these deals that he have no business being in. It's just absolutely ridiculous. The suit claiming Trump allies uh, access his personal information illegally on an abandoned laptop is ludicrous. Biden dropped off three laptops in April 2019 at John Paul Mac Isaac's computer repair shop. A full year and my other Alexa that's across the room went off now. My goodness. But um, a full year and a half later after several unsuccessful attempts by Mac Isaac to contact uh, Hunter Biden the hard drive of the computer ended up with uh, Rudy Giuliani's attorney, Brian Costello. Now, mind you, 
uh, when he dropped off, when Hunter Biden dropped off the laptop, um, I'm going to say laptop so it doesn't wake my other one that's across the room. So when Hunter Biden dropped off the laptop, um, he signed a, a, a document saying that if you don't pick it up in a certain amount of time, you forfeit this um, you forfeit this um, laptop and it becomes mine. That's And then that's in every single uh, computer re repair store that you go to. They have that, that they take over if you do not come and pick it up. And he did not come and pick it up. So it actually, technically, the laptop then became Max. And when, and when Mac Isaac uh, uh, looked into the laptop and saw the horrible stuff that was on it, he turned it over to the FBI, and rightfully so. Um, Hunter Biden had forfeited any right, um, that, just like I was alluding to, to privacy with regard to the laptop by that time. This is a political suit aiming to misdirect attention from what was in the laptop that Hunter Biden doesn't want anyone to see. I mean, it's some disgusting, disgusting stuff. How this man is still walking around instead of being locked up in prison is is just it, it, it's just crazy that he he get away with this because of his last name i can't even talk about some of the despicable stuff that was on that laptop but the letter to the justice department was addressed to its top national security official matthew olson it cites possible violations of statutes prohibiting the unauthorized access of a computer or stored electronic communication as well as the transport of stolen data across state lines um, and the publication of restricted personal data uh, uh, with the intent to intimidate or threaten. Again, any reasonable judge would throw this out. As for the suit against Tucker Carlson, that too is giggle worthy. Carlson's speech is protected by the First Amendment and Carlson hasn't de um, definitively said that the younger Biden access to classified information. He only pointed out that Hunter Biden was in the same home where the classified documents were stored, which is fact. You can't be sued for stating fact. Well, at least I hope you can. Um, well, basically, you know, they say you could be sued or you could be sued for a ham sandwich or something like that, but um, you, you will never win for suing someone uh, uh, for something like this. But both the letter to the DOJ requesting a criminal investigation and a suit against Carlson are not going to last long. Um, the Justice Department shouldn't dignify the political ploy with the response, and it's likely a judge is going to toss the suit um, against Tucker Carlson out, hopefully. Like I said, if there's if it's a reasonable judge, they will toss it out. But I don't put anything past um, 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 these activist judges. Meanwhile... Biden's lawyers are looking ahead to a trial, and um, it never hurts to get your side of the story out into the public, even though it's absurd to citizens who uh, may sit on a Hunter Biden jury. It's ridiculous. But um, let me know what you think about this ridiculousness. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. And um, to be checking out more news, stuff, I'm definitely going to be posting more stuff again now that my, I'm out of YouTube jail. Until next time, peace.